Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Adobe Vids with EnergizeGames.com. Today we're going to be making a intro, a video intro for any of your videos or an intro for your website. So, um, we're going to start off uh, and I'm going to show you some examples here of what I've done in the past. Um, so, excuse me. Um, so here's one that I was working on, just uh, just for an example. So it's kind of a cool looking thing. I didn't do much with it, I only did 30 frames, but we're going to create a, maybe about 90 frames because I don't want to take too long in the tutorial because of time limits. So we're going to get started right away. And first I'm going to show you this one that I created. That is a pretty cool looking one. It's about 100. And I'm going to hit File, New, Action Script 3.0. And we're going to um, change the stage height from one uh, from the default, which is usually 550, but we're gonna make it 480. So. Okay, uh, we're gonna go to fit and window, so we can see everything. We're gonna make this new layer, and we're gonna call it BG for background. Go in here, and we're going to change this to uh, 720 by 480 to match the size, so we could have this background here. Go to color. We want to make its type a linear, and I've already got this preset in here. Well, oh, it's uh, kind of reddish looking there. Grab a uh, click F to get the gradient transform tool, and I'm going to lower it down a little bit. There we go. So, let's zoom back in, and then I'm going to go to fit in window. So, now I've got the BG, we're going to make a new folder, and we're going to name it titles, for all the titles are going to go in here. Sorry, I'm talking a little bit fast, but I need to get this under 10 minutes to fit it on YouTube. So, uh, I'm going to make a new layer in here, and I'm going to put that right there, and name it Main Title. Okay. To save time, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to take out this local leaf title all that I already have in here. So, I'm going to just Control c to copy that, and put it in here, and I'm going to show you how I made it first before because I don't want you guys to not know what I did. First, I made this screen uh, 125 font side, and the type of font was Magneto, I think. Then I just did this one is a uh, Mangel font, 89 gray. And then this is 125 uh, green Magneto. Okay, so, and there's no space. So, uh, now I've got that. And I already converted it to a movie clip called Loco Leaf underscore text. TXT. Not the other text, just TXT, the prefix. So, now we're going to get started on tweening this. So, we're going to make a frame right here, frame right here, and a frame right here. Actually, you know what? Let's move this one to 20. This one to 20. And let's move this one to about 15. There we go. Uh, no, one more. There we go. Okay, so now I've got this, uh, and we're going to put this right here. We're going to go to here, and we're going to keep that as it is, and right here we're going to actually pull on shift and move it out. About there. Okay, and uh, I'm going to go to view, I'm going to put out the rulers, and just put a little marker right there at the 50, because that's where we're going to put it at. And then we're going to put one about, okay, so that's 720, it's 30, okay, so about right here. So, uh, here we go. Now I've got that, uh, we're going to apply a filter to this, and we're going to make it filter, blur, and we want it to be all the way. And then we want it to be on high. Then we're going to go all the way to this, and we're going to move this all the way to right here on that marker and we're going to make it blur on high at 100 and then we're just going to hit motion then we're going to go right here motion so we've got that set up so now I've got the main title set up we're going to create a new one called film and animation so Now we're going to go on here and create a new keyframe, and we're just going to go uh, just like that, film, and animation. Okay. We're only going to do up uh, to 40 frames because of time limit. Uh, time limit, as I said, I may do 40, but that's the most I might do. Just giving you a heads up, sorry. 
And we're gonna lower its font down to 50. There we go. Put this uh, right there. Okay, so now we've got that. We're gonna go here, align palette, center to stage. Make sure you have that checked off. And uh, I'm gonna lock this layer, these two layers up. And right here, we're going to go to keyframe here, keyframe here, and a keyframe here. So on this keyframe, right, uh, let's move this up here. We're going to hit Q to grab the scale tool, and we're going to move it all the way down, and we're going to zoom in, and we're going to hit the skew. So skews in there. Whoops. I'm going to skew it the other way. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Go to this frame. And we're going to just copy this over. ALT. Drag it right here. And then we're going to, instead of skewing that way, we want it to, actually it was our uh, skew it this way. So, opposite skews. Okay. And we're going to go to tween motion. Tween motion. Okay. Preview this. And as you see, it doesn't fade out all the way, so we're going to make this fade out all the way. And then on this next frame, you won't even be able to see it. So we're going to do it. <coughs> uh, so now I've got those titles there. Um, I'm going to, I have time for just one more, and we're going to put a little YouTube sign in there for a subscribe. So I already have this one subscribe uh, picture in here. Get any of them you want, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna control C to copy that. Just drop it right in there. I'm gonna go up to here and I'm going to hit F6 and then there we go. And uh, bring it all the way to 50, then 1 to 60, then 1 to 70. And on this one, we're going to make it super duper small, so, just like we've been doing. And uh, right here, let's make it a little bit bigger. And then ALT, and, uh, drag that over, copy that. ALT, drag that over. <coughs> and then we'll hit motion. And right here, we'll hit motion. And we'll go over here and we're gonna make this all the way up to there. So let's just convert those to it. whoops. Here we go. So <coughs> and as you see it doesn't go out all the way, so we're just gonna put in the same one in there and then delete it. So just like that. <coughs> and uh, so now we've got this all finished we want to export it so we can actually put it in our videos um, if you're going to be using it on a website you might want it to loop but if you don't it's as simple as hitting F hitting F9 on the last frame sorry I accidentally hit the pause button on my recorder and then you just put a stop action in there stop uh, parentheses uh, then semicolon so now we're just going to export it export movie Okay, and I want it to be untitled too, doesn't really matter. Uh, you could configure uh, settings, but I'm not going to do that right now. And it should be bring up a stream. Okay, then you hit export, and it'll export the video. And I'm just out of time here, so thanks for watching this video, and go to energizedgames.com to check out more. And uh, thanks for watching. <coughs>